currently residing in Las Vegas, USA. He now trains under the guidance of mentor Ken Adams. As an amateur, his KO ratio was an amazing 90%. His professional career currently stands at an undefeated 32 bouts, 32 wins, 26 of those victories coming by the way of knockouts. He claimed the WBC International Super Lightweight title in 1990 after a 10th round TKO over Victor Baranoff, a title which he has defended on four separate occasions. He was the WBC Intercontinental Junior Welterweight Champion and the South African Junior Welterweight Champion. He is currently the number one contender for the IBF Junior Welterweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Jan Kigalvin Bergman. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing solid black trunks and at the scaling came at 63.3 kilograms. Formerly from Serov in Russia, now residing in Sydney, Australia. <laughs> Under the watchful eye of master trainer Johnny Lewis, he has successfully defended his IBF junior welterweight title on three occasions against Americans Roger Mayweather, Hugo Panita and Corey Johnson. Tonight he enters the ring to combat his fourth title defence, this being his secondary mandatory defence. He brings to the ring an immaculate record. He is unbeaten in 17 fights, 13 of those contests by the way of knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the knockout king, the baby-faced assassin. Ladies and gentlemen, the undefeated junior welterweight champion of the world, Costa Referee Billy Bales to offer instructions. Okay, gentlemen, get it nice and clean. And I'll ask one thing: keep your heads to yourself. Touch gloves. Best of luck to both of you. Thank you. Billy Bales uh, keeping it short and sweet. Business as usual for him. Here we go, and the atmosphere is absolutely electric here for this IBF Junior Welterweight Contest between Kostya Zhu and Jan Bergman. The There's the bell for round one. The first little professional ploy by the American trainer. Oh, Kostya Zhu's going to be a little too clear. That's the way. Bergman working off his jab. And it's his left hook that we've got to watch. Apparently it kicks like a mule. Kostya Zhu has power, sleeping pills in both hands. Zhu a six to one favourite to win this fight. He's just got everything, Kostya Zhu. He is the fighting machine. He's got that quick hands, he's got those sleeping pills, he's got beautiful footwork. He's working well behind the jab, going to the body and head, following with the right. Winging with that hook a bit though, Jeff. Yeah, I just love the way Costa can stand and be right in front of you and make every punch miss. He's just a remarkable guy. And he always looks relaxed. I mean, he has that intensity, but there's a, a relaxed atmosphere about him in the ring. He's got to be relaxed and make him punch and miss the way he does. And then you've got to have that killer to, to put those guys to sleep the way he does. He's just taking his time. He's done nothing yet, Costa. Just making this guy miss. Bergman a little bit wild at this stage, perhaps a little bit nervous. He'll be very nervous. He's waited eight years for this. He'll wait till he takes the power across the zoo, that's what I want to see. Plus 
Foster's like a praying mantis. He's just waiting, waiting to strike. Yeah, people talk about Costa Zoo getting hit, and look, he's like six inches away from you all the time, and he should be able to get hit, but <laughs> he ain't gonna hit you many times. This is his fourth defense of the IBF Junior Welterweight title. Last time he fought here in Newcastle was against Roger Mayweather and Jeffy's almost a completely different fighter to that one that was yeah, in the well, ring 16 months ago. Yeah, Mayweather tied him up, held him and did everything he could just to last. Come on, punch off, punch off! Punch he will off, punch here, Costa made Bergman in the hole, I'm not too sure if it hurt him or not. And at this stage, Costa going to the head, I'm sure we'll see him go more to the body as the fight goes on. There's the bell ending round one. A very tightly contested fight. Opening round there, Jeff. Yeah, tough on the call. Uh, Bergman certainly uh, threw more punches than Zoo in the first round, but um, not many of them landing. Costa's the head movement, the eye hand coordination, just unbelievable. The way he can just, you know, like I said, stay six inches away from you and make every punch miss. And if they do hit, you know, they, he rides them. Okay, we're going to have a look at the tail of the tape for this fight. And Zula, they're both men are 26 years of age, slight or rather big height advantage there to Jan Bergman, same weight and the reach of course very much in Jan Bergman's favour and that's where he'll have to use that Jeff, he'll have to use his jab to keep Costa Zoo off. Well he's got 14 centimetres here as an advantage but as Zoo just showed you it means nothing, he's standing 10 centimetres away and not getting hit at all and of course Costa Zoo is ready, ready and re he's, he's been fighting these sort of tall fighters for a long time now. Yeah, he can handle everybody. I mean, 290 or damage fights, 270. He's fought everybody. Here he comes. Here comes the zoo train. Bergman tries to slip in an uppercut there. Incredibly, as an amateur, Bergman scored 90% of his fights as an amateur ended in knockout so it does show you how much power he does have yeah, he does he's not really jabbing with authority though Bergman he's very wary as he should be he's taking you one round the change of fight right around now Bergman's waiting the way Zoo cuts the Cuts the ring off. It's just incredible, isn't it? Jeff? Yeah, he don't waste no energy chasing people around. He's right in your face all the time. Look at that. Man. You're 14 centimetres difference in, in reach, and you know he's he's winning the, the jabbing war. Come on, punch it off, punch Bergman it off. keeping himself busy. No punches exchanged there on the inside. Bergman there hitting on the break. Oh. A little tucker over the left eye of Bergman. I think it's on the eye lead. Ostrizu continues to pursue his man. That look of intent in his eyes. I haven't seen this much vaunted left hook so far. Costa's been on him so much he hasn't been out at all. A beautiful combination there by Costa Zoo. And it hurt him a bit too, Matthew. Who, who can this guy hit and not hurt? Well, another right hand there by Costa Zoo. Oh, big left hook by Bergman. when he didn't land. Zoo's got that right hand up about nice and high. Zoo's in and out, isn't he? Very much so. He's like the thief of the night, just comes in, he robs you and goes. He robs you of your, your dignity and your pride in the boxing room, in the boxing ring. Right clean! Get your punches up, Dan. Well, this is, this fight is threatening to turn into a brawl at this stage, Jeff. Yeah, but um, I can just see Costa Zoo starting to land as the rounds go on. You know, only about four or five rounds and this kid's going to be in a lot of trouble. 
nice right to the body. The crowd's so much behind Koski Zoo too, that must be an enormous help. Right, please, right. Yep. That's the bell ending round two, we'll be back with more right after this. For over 40 years, the Holden Newt's been a legend. Welcome back, there's Costa Zoo's corner with Johnny Lewis. We're now going to have a look at some replays from round two. Costa Zoo there landing, probing with the jab. Beautiful jab on target. Look at the weight. Kick, almost kicking his head back. He was just about to do the famous round of the corner right hand. Look at that, snapping his head right back. And I heard him say that he feels real good to Johnny Lewis. Here we go, round three. Bergman on the retreat. With you in pursuit. Oh, wow. Straight right. Bergman getting lazy with that left already. He's signing his own death warrant, Jeff. Yeah, I think the trust has already signed it for them. Punch it off! Punch it off! Oh, beautiful right up. Bergman right. again hitting on the break there. Perhaps the only time he can land. Well, you need to do it every 10, Matthew. Fighting for the world title. We mustn't forget that he does have that one-punch knockout. Oh, beautiful straight right. Bergman looks in trouble. He's on Queer Street. Oh, another beautiful right. Just a matter of time now. And Zeus starts leaning those ones. And the thing that I said before the fight was, Matthew, isn't that right? He's Bergman keeps fighting. Anybody that fights that way is going to get hit by Zoo and hit hard. Bergman coming back with a couple of rights of his own, but oh, Zoo just Zoo just continues in his pursuit. Just as you speak to him when he gets hit, he's just going to say, God, you know, it doesn't hurt, and this guy can punch. Costa basically walking through Bergman now. That speed and power, Jeff, is just amazing. Pretty awesome. Gets hit, he'll walk straight back through and zoom. Bergman landing a good right there. But no doubt realising he's in a war. He's one of the best fighters in the world, Kostya Zhu. The more I watch him, Matthew, the more I think he's the best. You might get a little bit of argument out of an American named uh, Oscar De La Hoya, Jeff. Yeah, and Roy Jones Jr., but, you know, let this kid go over and let the Americans see him and uh, we'll see what they've got to say then. Quite happy to argue and debate with him. They're like a homing device, his, his fists, aren't they? The way they just home in on, on their target and they land. Bergman lands a good right there. Costa keeping that left a little bit low. He's not too concerned with the punching power of that one no, even. He keeps walking forward. There's definitely a look of concern there on the face of Jan Bergman. Yeah, he's gone back to, uh, to the to the corner, plenty of blood, but um, putting up a great fight. And Jeff, it comes back to I think quality of opposition. Let's listen to this corner. I'm going down, please. I'm going to stop this motherfucker. You understand me? I'm going to stop it. I am. Are you listening to me? You're not listening to me, but I said move to the right, and I say drop the right hand out. Okay. I said drop the right hand out. As you throw the jab, drop the right hand out, sweep with the hook, and then continue moving to the right. Then when you get open space, you come wide enough, and then you're going to shoot back with your right hand and hook okay, again. Okay, here we go. Just some highlights what from the round. Oh, and Kostya Zuzu, right some here. power punches there. Beautiful punching there from Kostya Zuja. The start of this round is going to be very, very important. You can land a few more than big ones. This guy's in trouble. And his corner, what? Yeah, he burned his corner, threatened to stop the fight if he didn't do what he was told. Well, that's panicking, really, isn't it? Oh, it's just trying to G him up, really, man. Just trying to make him work for him. But when you're outgunned, you're outgunned. I know it's still early going. 
that's what he's got to do, Bergman. He's got to work off that jab. Kostrich jabs for Dina. Counter punches him very easily. Bergman having some success early here in the fourth. seen Zoo go to the body at all yet, Jeff. He threw one punch in the body early in this round. Nice left two by Zoo. In and out. It's amazing. Bergman threw two punches and they just hit air. Went for the body then but missed. And Bergman's corner urging him on to just jab, jab, jab. Zoo's just waiting for him to make a mistake. When he does, he'll get nailed. Break, 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 break. Have that sort of confidence, Jeff. I mean, he must believe so much in himself, Costa Zoo. He certainly does. He's got every reason to. This is a slightly better round for Bergman. He's used his jab. Kept the distance there between him and Costa Zoo, and when Costa's got in close, he's tied him up. He counted that jab beautifully there, Costa Zoo. That's the only way to live with Costa Zoo, that's to tie him up. Come on, punch off, punch off! Again, he hits on the break. Jazoo almost treading him with disdain, Jeff. Uh, he looks at He's just an unbelievable fighter, this guy. Right in front of the guy with you know, 14 centimetres, bigger reach, and, you know, although he's getting hit, he's riding all them punches, and he's certainly making his opponent pay. 20 seconds left in round number four of this IVF junior welterweight title fight. Bergman wild there with an uppercut, followed by a wild left hook. Good jab by Costa Zoo there. Big left hook that's missed by Bergman. It really is a roundhouse punch that left hook. You've heard so much about it. We're going to take a break and be back with more right after this. Welcome back. We're now in Costa Zoo's corner. And Jeff, what would Johnny Lewis be saying to him? I hate be more than that. He'd just be telling him to keep his hands up. I mean, Costa... It's very, very hard to tell him anything, Matthew. He just, like, you know, he just knows he's out there. He's so experienced. What can you say to the guy? OK, here we have a replay from the previous round. Beautiful jab there by Zoo. You can see the face contort on Jan Bergman every time he lands a punch. And that's just the jab, Jeff. Yeah, well, I'm just waiting. I think yeah, this might be the round where Zoo starts to land a few right hands. Here we go, round number five. Oh, Zoo just missed the eye. He did, he's sneaking with a beautiful right hand. Bergman holding on for dear life. Zoo, he's unbelievable this cost. He just knows now. He's going to stalk him. The stalker. The stalker sitting beside us here, Trent's having a good time, but I think Costa's going to have a better time when he gets his arm raised in victory. Oh, beautiful right, sends his head right back. Yeah, Matthew, we stopped with that right hand, he wasn't going to throw it, and then he threw it and still landed. Oh, that right He's making was... Bergman look second rate at this stage, Jeff. I mean, Bergman's technically, he came here as a very good fighter. He is think... a very good fighter, but um, I think all Australians are proud to say that we have a better one here. One of the few that Costa's missed with. He's just not letting up at all, Costa Zoo. This is his house and Jan Bergman is not welcome. Oh, 
Matthew, I was lucky enough to be at the Chavez De La Hoya fight. And honestly, I don't think De La Hoya can handle the power of Costa Zoo. It'd be interesting to see De La Hoya, how he would withstand the, the pressure that Costa Zoo would put him under. I mean, he does have very quick hands, but so does Costa Zoo. He does have power, so does Costa Zoo. And Costa has more. Oh, a big left hook by Bergman. A hook, a jab, a right, left hook, beautiful That's combination. Incredible. All hitting the How target. That sort of effect That's on an opponent with just a jab. All do, all doing damage. Oh. oh, left hook, and he's in big trouble now, I think, Jeff. Bergman backing away. Foster Zoo just in constant pursuit. Bergman's about ready to go, Jeff. Beautiful right hand by Zoo. No rush for Costa Zoo, just talking. Bergman doing what he needs to do, hold on. With 20 seconds to go, he's got to hold on for dear life. He's not looking too healthy now, Matthew. He's looking very fragile. We're in round five now, and he might see the end of this, but I doubt if he'll see the end of round six. Beautiful body shot by Costa Zoo. Get up. Cedric Cushman's looking there and uh, you know. What a talent Costa Zoo is. What a big round that was for him. Almost a 10-8 round yet. Yeah, uh, this guy just, uh, you know, I can't sing his praises any more than I have, you know. Let's listen to what Johnny Lewis is saying to him. Not much, he doesn't need you. Give him a drink, send him back out. Well, there's a lot of chatter going on in the Bergman corner. Ken Adams, he's trainer for two and a half years, the American trainer who trained the 1988 Seoul Olympians. What would he be saying to him? Billy Miles has just warned him that he's got to protect himself at all times. And he was a replay. What round is this? Oh, oh there's that left hook. That sent his head sideways. Down He's in big round trouble. Six. Here we are towards the end of the round. Again, Jan Bergman on the back pedal, Costa Zoo, as we've seen in constant pursuit of his opponent. And he'll say goodbye. Zoo knows it. Anybody that stands there and fights Zoo cannot win. That's why I know De La Hoya can't beat him, because De La Hoya will fight him. You hold him like a Roger Mayweather and you might survive, but you fight him and you're no chance. Well, Jan Bergman came here full of confidence. He came here to win this title. Just caught Zoo with a nice thing with a left hand there. Oh, he just walked straight onto one of Costa's. He's just about to go, I think. Billy Mal separating the fighters. I think Costa's got a big bad cut now. From a head clash. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He's saying this is from a head clash. Let it go. Bad. Well, it'd be a shame if the fight was stopped now. It was going to get stopped anyway, but... Head butt. What round is this? The six? Billy Mal's reiterating that it was a head clash okay. that caused the cut. Good boy. Get to it, Costa. Get to it. I'd what? say Jan Bergman was hoping it would be Costa stopped. will lock him out now. Take my word. Take my word. He don't need to be cut. He don't want to be cut. He's seen red, so to speak. He is oh, 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 let's go. Oh, Good it. night. That's it. Bergman's down. He's saying he's all right. Is he going to get up? Costa Zoo, this is it. Oh, left oh, hook right there. That's it. Oh. And Bergman's collapsed right in front of us. It's all over. Costa Zoo has retained his IBF Junior Worldweight title. And just how good is this man, Costa Zoo? Dan Bergman, the number one contender in the world. This guy just unbelievable. Cold. What an unbelievable display, Jeff. Incredible. Well, I don't have to say any more than I've said. I've said it, and I'll say it, and I'll say it again. He's the best fighter in the world, pound for pound. Oscar De La Hoya, if you watch his fight, 
I don't think I want to fight Costa Zoo. And the fight ending here in the sixth round, Jan Bergman still on the ground. He appears to be all right. The doctors are with him now. Obviously, great disappointment there. The crowd chanting Zoo, Zoo, Zoo. And Jeff, as you said, he saw red and ended it. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I don't know, I should, I should not sing this guy's praises anymore. I just think all the people in the pubs and clubs should be very, very happy tonight. What, 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 what a great, what a great, great show you have watch, guys, by the way of lockdown. And your winner, and still undefeated champion of the world, Bosco Boom! Sends a tingle up your spine, doesn't oh, it? Well, here's some hot property, Matthew. Thank God I'm retired and I'm not a junior all the way. And Costa just acknowledging the Newcastle crowd here, they're going to miss him. Okay, we'd like this out, Costa, for one minute to have a chat with us. Be congratulated by uh, East promoters, Vlad Warden and Ron Nash from Zoo Enterprises. Okay. If we may just borrow you for a minute in this very exciting time. Congratulations, Costa, once again. You got a nasty cut over your left eye, and you knew that in round six you really had to finish him off because the cut was looking pretty ordinary. Uh, I mean, I didn't think to finish him off because he's very tough. He took so much punishment in the first few rounds, and he still was alive and still tried to fight. And he was headbutt, accidental headbutt. I can't blame him, I can't blame me. I mean, I mean I blame myself because it's my mistake, if I, if I got a cut, it's my problem. But uh, I'm very proud of what I've done because Jan is a really, really good boxer. He's got the ability to be the champion. Not this time, sometime later he'll be the champion. They're great supporters of yours here in Newcastle, Kostya. Oh. I was saying that they, they are great supporters here in Newcastle of you. Can you hear? Newcastle! Hello! I love Newcastle and uh, one day I'll come back here, maybe not fighting, but do some exhibition because I love this city and I love these people and uh, I never had better support like I said before. And I'll come back, I'll come back to Newcastle. Costa Zoo, ladies and gentlemen, the champion of the world. Defending his title for the fourth time. And Jeff Kostya Zoo. Oh, you can't get a much more emphatic victory can they, than Mr. that, Boyer, can you? Well, like, well like, I can't say that. We just can't sing the praises enough. They're kind enough to come over for one minute. I'm sure that uh, the crowd here at Newcastle would like to hear from you. Disappointing for you, uh, Koska put you away in round number six. Uh, it was a devastating right hand, but uh, you put up a, a terrific fight. It was a tough performance. Well done, but uh, unfortunately for you, that not the victor tonight. Hey, I would like to say all the best to Koska. He's a real world champion. I respect him, and I want to thank all the people in Newcastle for the life being with me, the fatality and everything. Thank you all. The big gentleman defeat. Thank you very much to South African Wine Bergman. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us.